why did I start playing an instrument? That's easy. Um, my father was a musician, and he had a fairly extensive record collection. Um, and as a kid, um, when you're as old as me, you used to have these little record players, and the record player top opened, and there was a speaker inside the lid. And I had one in my room, so I would go down in the basement, I would take my father's records, and I'd listen to the records on the um, little record player. And then um, he played the guitar, so there were always guitars in the house, and I originally wanted to play the drum, but because there were guitars in the house and that was more cost effective, I started playing the guitar. I started teaching lessons my junior year of high school. Back then it was mostly like music stores. Um, there used to be a music store actually in college, in end of high school and in college I started teaching in a music store in Fairfield. It was called Professional Music Center, probably around 1985. And in 1990, I started teaching at West Con, which I still teach at. And then about 1995, I also started teaching at the University of Bridgeport. And then I also taught a bunch of years at Onondagatuck Valley Community College. So those, the, since the um, early 90s, it's been an adjunct at colleges, which has been fun. I think the biggest advice I can give anybody is small, something small done every day over and over again. So it's little, it's little tiny bits of consistency. Consistency is the most important thing and you're not going to see improvement really fast with anything. And you have to realize that whenever you see a person in life who's pretty good at something, he or she I'm willing to bet you put a lot of time. They've done it over and over and over again for years. So I would just say anything you want to learn, just commit to learning it. And don't worry about progress. Just be honest with yourself and every day work at it a little.